What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm here today to give you guys a review of the Amma Manier Air Jordan 2 Retro SP in this airness colorway. Today's video as always is sponsored by the good people from Heflux. Heflux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for everyone. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and to me, I personally find them to be extremely comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is the third pair in the Air Jordan and Amma Manier collaboration history following the Air Jordan 3 Raised by Women and the Air Jordan 1 Airness. So this one is a follow up to that Airness theme, but of course instead of the Jordan 1, it's now time for the Air Jordan 2 to take its spotlight. And this pair released on Amma Manier's website on June 1st for a price of $225 US dollars. And when it was all said and done for me, it ended up costing me about $340 Canadian dollars including shipping. So the official colorway for this shoe is Sail, Black, and Burgundy Crush. And just like all the past Jordan Emma Manier releases, this pair was also very limited and it sold out instantly. That there's supposed to be an Emma Manier Jordan 4 in the works, so I'm personally very excited to see how those look. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. First off, the box comes in this translucent sleeve with the Amma Manier A logo all over. And when you take off the sleeve, you're left with this beautiful custom box, which draws inspiration from the original Jordan 2 packaging. So on the top, this is done in this white colored cardboard. We have the Air Jordan Wings logo along with Amma Manier branding. And the bottom half of the box is colored in black. And on the inside lid, we have an image of Michael Jordan dunking from the 1987 NBA dunk contest. And if you haven't noticed by now, he is wearing the Air Jordan 2s. So diving into the details, just like the Air Jordan 1 Airness, the 2s also feature this cracked leather finish. So you can see this throughout the majority of the upper of the shoe. We still have this perforated look like all your other Air Jordan 2s. And surrounding the front toe cap, we have another overlay of this cracked leather. In between the two layers of leather, you'll see there's a thin layer of this burgundy colored material, which gives you an added level of contrast. And then for the eyelets, the very bottom eyelet is done in this circular black colored finish but then the next four above it are done in this matte finish in this black colored TPU material. And you'll notice the top three eyelets are again done in this circular finish, but this time done in this sail or off-white color. Wrapping around the back half of the shoe, we have this overlay of the semi-translucent TPU, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe. Above this, we have that signature ribbed finish that all your Air Jordan 2s have. This is done in this deep burgundy color, and on the very top, we have Manier branding in white. And hanging off the shoe, there's this hand tag featuring both brands' logos, which is a nice added touch. For the laces, so these come with three different lace options. The standard or default lace these come with is a wax black colored cotton lace with the words work and harder printed on the edges. If you're not feeling the black laces, they also give you a secondary pair of off-white or sail colored laces and a burgundy colored lace as well. Underneath this, the majority of the tongue at the bottom at least, this is again constructed out of this cracked leather finish, and then the top portion of the tongue is done in this snakeskin printed textile, and we have an overlay of that cracked leather once again on top, exposing the Air Jordan Wings logo, which almost feels like it's constructed out of a soft leather-like material. Both the back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is lined in a black textile, but it's given this very quilted finish, which adds a very premium feel to the shoe. And I do want to add that this back collar area, it is extremely well padded. As for the insoles, these come with a foam padded insole, it's lined in this burgundy colored finish on top, and stitched on the heel we have this rectangular tag with both Jordan brand and Amma Manier co-branding. So the upper of the Jordan 2 sits atop this polyurethane foam midsole, which is painted in black and given this snakeskin like finish to it. Encapsulated within the shoe but not visible to the eye, there is Nike Air technology for cushioning and impact protection. And then flipping the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your Air Jordan 2 outsole, which is constructed out of a combination of sail, black, and burgundy colored rubber. We have the circular pivot point on the forefoot, and running down the center, this is actually exposed foam, so it has some softness to it, and you can see here the print on the actual size of the shoe, and Nike branding as well. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these Amma Manier Air Jordan 2s. And for those wondering about sizing, so I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10, and they fit me well in a nice snug way. So like I mentioned before, the shoe is very well padded. So around the back portion of the shoe, it feels very plush. And just overall, I just felt like there was a lot of material just hugging your feet. So I feel like if you have narrow, 
normal or slightly wide feet, true to size should be fine for you, but if you have really wide feet, you might want to consider going up a half size. Moving on to the comfort, so this shoe is surprisingly heavy in hand. I don't know what it is about this specific shoe, it's definitely heavier than my other Air Jordan 2s. Aside from that though, I felt like it was pretty comfortable. This is definitely a step up over, for example, an Air Jordan 1, which feels normally more flat to the ground and stable. This one, in contrast, like I said before, it really feels like there's a lot of material hugging your foot, which is good from a plushness and softness standpoint, but this is probably not the best shoe to wear in the summer. And finally, from an overall quality and craftsmanship standpoint, so if, in terms of the material quality, I thought it was great. I really had no issues at all with the materials. It really felt like it was a step above the standard materials you'll find on regular GR Air Jordan releases. So this really feels like it's something special. It feels like it is a collaboration. And similarly, the overall build and craftsmanship, I really had no issues at all. I thought my pair was honestly pretty flawless. So that's definitely a good thing when you're paying a premium price for a limited collaboration. With all that out of the way now, let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look. With M.M. Anir now having an Air Jordan 1, 2, and 3, it really seems like they have that Midas touch when it comes to Air Jordan collaborations. But to be completely honest with you guys, I do have to say the 3s were my favorite, followed by the 1s and the 2s, so hopefully the 4s can kind of get that trend going up again. But that's not to say that I don't like these 2s at all. I actually think this is a beautiful shoe in hand. It really feels luxurious and it really feels like a very premium product. And that's always good when we're paying such high prices for sneakers these days. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about these Air Jordan 2s. Of the three pairs in the collection so far, how would you rank them from best to worst? And for anyone watching, were you guys able to grab these for retail? Did you take an L and buy these on resale? Or did you just take an L or pass on them altogether? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram as well at esco8. Check me out on Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seangoca so until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.